across the board with um, with what we do at Colgate, we're really trying to talk in more of a documentary style. We're just trying to give a snapshot of what it's like to be here, because that's what people want to know. What's it like? What's going on there? So we've that follows our publications and our website and everything that we're doing in our communication. And as we look to a new version of the website, we're really going to be relying heavily on video to help us tell that story because. There's really no better way to do it than to just give the person a camera or set a camera in front of them and ask them just to talk about it. What's the Colgate experience like? People want to know if you can get a job out of here. Interview an alumnus. You know, what's it, what was your experience in like, like and how did Colgate prepare you for this career? If they want to know what it's like to live here, go into a dorm. Go talk to some students. What's it like? What's your roommate like? So really just use video to help us extend the story and just connect people to, you know, with the questions they already have. And just don't try to spin it at all. Just tell the stories you know, from the first person. We'll rely heavily on students to help us produce the video, whether it's um, coming up with a concept for a video that's 12 students who talk, or 13 students who talk about what the Colgate experience is like and let them sign out a video, you know, shoot maybe four or five minutes of film, 30 minutes of film that we edit down. Sometimes it might be, you know, we have a few staffers who can go out and shoot, but we really will rely on the students because, again, they, they're the ones who have the story and know it so well, and we're going to rely on them to tell it, you know, from their standpoint. So students will carry staffers who can go out and shoot. But we... I think that the PR shop that thinks it's ha it has control over its message and its brand is, is going the wrong way, especially right now. It's wide open. There are students, any school should, who thinks they're not, their students aren't up there telling their own stories on YouTube, on Google Video, or anywhere else, should go do a check, go do a Technorati search and see. You don't have control. You can provide context. And what the best way to deal with that is probably to be producing your own stuff too, so that they're, whatever videos they're seeing, whatever access they have, they're also getting a little bit of your message too, which really should be very similar to the message that the students are sending. Again. I really believe that the people at an institution like a college university are the brand. So whatever they're putting up there, that's it. That's, that's the experience they're getting. Prospective students are very savvy. Parents are very savvy. They know what they're getting from a university in terms of publications and on the website and a lot of, and a lot of uh, times. It's marketing. It's, it's spun in a certain direction. You try to make it as real as possible. But they're going to be going on the blogs. They're going to be talking to friends. You know, the real, the only difference is that we can see the conversation now. They've always been asking at cocktail parties and at parties at home, what's it like? What's it like at that place? Now we can just see the conversation. So let's engage in it and rather than try to on the blogs. They're going to be talking to friends. I think a university that's looking to use video to really extend the story and tell the story can find the entry point that works for them. Video on the home page. I think done right is going to do two things. You're going to build an architecture that lets people navigate your website easily and then throw some video up there that lets them, oh, here's the story. Here's what the place is really all about. You can click into that and just let it run from there. And that's your, the home page is your highest level opportunity to really talk about what the place is. What is the Colgate story? What's the Dartmouth story? What's the, you know, University of Maryland story? You can get people into it right off the bat. In other places, it might be on the admissions site. You might want to have a chat with someone who just went through um, the admission process. And you know, as I'm a prospective student looking at it, and I'm wondering, you know, what do I need to be thinking about when I write my essay? Here's a video, and here's someone who's in the class of 2010 talking about what I wrote about in my essay. So I think there are a lot of different ways you can get in there. I think the most important thing is to use it in the place that's most appropriate. What you don't want to do is just throw, up, throw a video up there for the sake of throwing it up there. It's not going to look, it's not going to be consistent and all you're doing is an essay. So I think there are a lot of different, some great work being done right now by universities all over the country. Florida, right on their homepage, you get video and it's a, it's a kind of a brand uh, explanation video that tells you what it's like to be a Florida uh, person, Gator Nation. Um, Ohio University, they, they're pointing you to video uh, pieces that are produced by students really. Uh, right from their homepage, and those are some some grainy but really terrific uh, pieces. University of Missouri, they have somebody on hand who's just a really talented uh, video producer, editor, creator, um, and their pieces are more feature-like, but they're they're very compelling. Um, New Jersey Institute of Technology is one to pay attention to. They've actually they're taking what they're doing, and they've put it on YouTube. So they have a presence. New Jersey NJIT has a presence on YouTube, so people who are playing on YouTube are going to find their stuff right there. So it's, it's worth paying attention and just doing some searches and seeing how universities all has a presence on YouTube. So